doesn't want a side hustle and create a passive income flow. Everybody wants that. My name is Satyajit Patnaik and I welcome you all to my channel. Well, in this video, we are going to talk about some of the side hustles that I do and some of the side hustles that can be done to create a passive income flow. People with more than two years of experience in the field of data analytics and data science are the ones who are going to get the maximum out of this video. The more experience you have, the better it is for you because it is going to act as a cherry on top. The job market is dying. Not exactly dying, but the jobs are kind of declining. Do we have something for the freshers? I know that freshers are most impacted by the job market. They face the most difficulties in finding their first breakthrough in the field of data. Do we have something for them? Do we have a side hustling option or a passive income flow option? Yes, we do have. And that option is going to be discussed as part of this video. But at the end, please stay tuned till the end and see you in the video. Now, before getting into the points on how you can leverage the side hustles and have a passive income flow, I would also like to talk about myself on what I do. So I have been in the industry, at least in the data industry from the past eight to nine years coming from a Java background. It was difficult for me, but at least I have done that transition way back in 2015. And since then it's been eight years, I'm already into the market and I don't have an intention to leave the market as well because I don't want to be a full-time educator uh, because I want to be in the industry to understand what's happening. Now talking about my side hustles, there are multiple things that I do starting from teachings, online teachings, guided mentorship programs. We have mock interviews. I take one-to-one -one career counseling. I have so many videos which many edutechs are using. So online and offline teaching. Again, it's a repetitive thing. Apart from that, I do a lot of freelancing projects. I do YouTube and I'm able to very various other things as well. So many things I have been doing and it did not start this way. I always started from a small project. The very first project that I got in the field of freelancing was in 2015 or 2016. And I got just 5,000 rupees for that. It was like a time series forecasting for related to news uh, media and all those things. I wanted to do the forecast for the number of sales of newspapers. And I have been getting more and more freelancing projects since then. Now, how I got is a different story if you want on how to get more freelancing projects from the social media or how to create a new revenue stream i can have a detailed video on each one of them but in this video we'll be focused only the pointers on what are the pointers based on which you can get started with the side hustles. The first point is going to be training. It means anything. It means online training and offline training. So there are many people that I know who started their tenure as a data professional. They started going into multiple universities and colleges for speeches, keynote speakers, and that's where they converted themselves from an introvert to an extrovert. And then they started doing public speaking and then immediately started getting in touch with some edutech companies to be a trainer and their journey started from there. So if you are a complete beginner, you want to get into trainings, one thing that you can do is probably go for LinkedIn live sessions, start teaching or probably take the path of the universities and education institutes, get in touch with them, ask them if you can be a keynote speaker or something like that. So training is going to be one option. Another option inside training could be an Udemy course or any kind of online course that you can showcase. Well, as I told you that each of these points, I can actually talk about individual points for like 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I would like to keep it short. The first point that you can explore is trainings and teaching. And the second side hustle option is going to be mock interviews and resume guidance. Now, how to get started with it? There are many platforms start creating a profile, start posting in on LinkedIn about this particular platform where you can offer the services of mock interviews or resume guidance, start being a part of multiple communities, let the people know about your exposure and experience and slowly, slowly you can provide those services to the students as well and you can start a passive income. You cannot have a huge passive income from this, but definitely it's a good way to start. So the third point is going to be consulting. Now consulting is something that I have been doing and in my current job also my major work is consulting where we go to multiple companies, we pitch them some AI products and then we do consulting. But when I say consulting as a side hustle, this basically means freelancing or probably AI consulting for different 
companies let's say how do we do that how do we get started with this social media social media and the more famous you are the more engagement you have on social media on facebook on linkedin people will recognize your talent they will recognize your knowledge and they will come back to you so that could be another option the fourth option is going to be writing and blogging so writing and blogging is very important either become a medium blogger or maybe any other platform there are many many platforms where you can start with technical blogs so these are going to be the four options well as i told you in case you are inclined towards one of these options let me know in the comment section and i will come up with a dedicated video on that because on these four points i can literally go for 2 3 hours to talk about the exact strategy that has to be done because i have done it using my own strategy i have helped many people do this so i can help you as well but not in this video because i don't want to have this video to be like 15 20 30 minutes i want to keep it short and concise now talking about the freshers on what you can do they do have an option of freelancing well freelancing is a very wide concept people think oh it's very difficult to do but no freshers can also do freelancing there are many platforms like toptal and there are few other platforms that i will mention in the screen itself this this and this so there are multiple other platforms like this apart from that to get started with what you can do is start creating a fiverr account start creating an upwork account or a freelancer account and provide your gigs there are many customers who look out for experienced people there are many customers who look out for people with low budgets as well now freshers will have lower budget to complete a task an experienced guy might have a higher budget so if the customer is having a low budget then definitely he will come back to you rather than going for an experienced one so you still have a chance to get into this field of freelancing again to become a successful freelancer i have tips but i cannot share in this particular video in case you are willing to become a freelancer the exact strategy i can share it with you as part of another video i will keep it concise and short for this video in case you liked it please like share and subscribe the channel in case you have any other options as a side hustle that you have done it is successful you want to let other people know as well let me know in the comment section below that's all about this particular video see you in the next video till then